Hi, Geminis. I'll be Phoenix here for your March 2018 reading. Um, if you want to book with me, all the information is down below. Please feel free to join the Fire family also on Facebook and Instagram. Um, those handles are the Ivy Phoenix Guidance. And then I'm also on Instant Go, so you can look for me there. Hours are posted now. Um, I had a, you know, some changes going on, but um, you can feel free to also book me there. Um, and that handle is the Ivy Phoenix, okay? So um, I'm here for your March 2018 reading in general. Check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign and Venus sign, whichever um, you feel like will resonate more with you this upcoming month. So I'm not reading for everybody. Not reading for everybody. Um, so let's get into it. I've already pulled the first three weeks of March. Week one, I will be reading the past energy. So that could have happened at the end of February. Um, it could have happened last month or it could just be kicking off now that we are in the beginning of week two. Um, I have week one, two, and three already pulled, but I will be pulling week four on camera as, as well as any clarifiers. I have not really had the chance to read any of the cards. I literally just shuffled, dealt them out and started the video. So let's uh, begin. First card that came out for week one, two of cups. The next card that came out, Knight of Cups. And then here we have the Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing, Geminis, last month it was time for you to face the music, right? Where there seemed to have been some type of internal conflict between between elements of what you really wanted. And I and I believe, you know, I'm sure you all will correct me if I'm incorrect, but I believe with that message was coming out that you had to have some type of conversation. There was some type of judgment that needed to be faced. And whether you did it, whether more so it was decisions that needed to be made to finally head down that route. What I'm feeling right now is you are choosing the one that you have this undeniable spiritual connection with. That you are finally extending that message of love and very passionately to, or it could be to a fire sign. All right not feeling too compelled to necessarily call out signs but i can see that this is passion i can see that this this queen it's a queen it's a queen so you i feel like some of you may not necessarily have taken heed to the message last month because you knew who you were going to have to step to and it was it, it can't be something mediocre the message that you have to give to this person, especially if it is something that is as strong as this, it can't be, you know, hey, what's up? Or, um, you know, I've really been thinking about you a lot lately and da 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 It needs to be able to show maturity. You have to be able to show change or maturity through your words which can be difficult to do, you know, not so much for Gemini's because you guys know, you know, supposedly how to communicate, you know, how to charm, you know, how to lay out a sentence that makes somebody feel like they are the only person in the world, even if they're not, even if they're not. But I feel like this person can see right through that. It's a spiritual connection. Words don't cut it. Words aren't enough. There's more to it than that. It's Queen of Wands energy here. They have to have some type of action within their environment. So the words, the emotions, those, those aren't enough. They, they know how to get through all your BS, Geminis, okay? So let's see uh, what I, I'm getting cards already and I haven't even um, asked what to clarify yet. I want to know, and I'm going to clarify all three. 
Two of Cups. Well, this just came out. Yeah. Definitely had an enlightening moment. Week one. Gemini's. What's the uh, Two of Cups here for? Week one, March 2018 for Gemini's. Thank you. Why is it here? Provide more clarity, please. Thank you. What's the message? Who am I talking to this month? What group of Gemini's is this for? Seven of, uh, seven of Wands. One more card for this Two of Cups, please. Two of Pentacles. A two of Cups. I'm getting that making the choice for um, prioritizing the relationship that really speaks to your soul. is difficult for you. Gemini's, you like to be able to salvage most things, most relationships, most connections, things. You like to be able to salvage them as best as you can. But I think with making this choice, that aha moment that you all have had in you know the last couple to few weeks here you may have had to stand your ground to somebody else to others maybe who don't understand what you're feeling what what choice you want to make and so therefore it's it, it i i can see where you may have had to still weigh your options I mean, you can even see in these pillars here, there's a money focus, there's marriage or two rings, there is growth here, or there is just, you know, clouds, which I mean, I feel like stands for all of the elements. You know, do you choose work? Do you choose love? Do you choose growth? Do you choose, you know, just to be more thought focused? which where do you go where do you go i can also see where maybe the two of cups choosing that type of connection is foreign to you you don't exactly know um a hundred percent of where it's going to lead and so you've been either doing well you've been doing your research you've been trying to figure out where it, what it is um you know, and maybe you have tried to speak to other people regarding it. I want one more card, please, for the Two of Cups here. And um, you, you're just going through a period of making a final choice, or you were, regarding that connection. One more card for the Two of Cups, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Three of one, I'm sorry, three of pentacles, teamwork, recognition and reward. What's gonna happen here? What's the outcome? What do you get from it? With all of this, you know, standing your ground, sacrifices, making choices um, regarding it, What what is it? But it's not gonna stop you. Why is this, not, uh, this knight of cups here? It's not gonna stop you. You love the person. You love them. You love them. Confidence. Creativity. Y'all got a whole bunch of threes going on here. This is seven. Three of cups. Mm. 
So you're definitely going to be with making this choice to deliver this, um, you know, I love you, this communication to this person. You're strengthening your heart and sacral chakras. That's what I'm feeling there. Not sacral, I'm sorry. Solar plexus chakras. <laughs> Definitely have awakened to the spiritual connection here. And there's going to be a moment of celebration for you. You're celebrating. I'm feeling. You're celebrating by making this realization. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay, we had two just fly out. Yeah. Yeah. Accelerate in motion. Patience. Again, this person, just because you can do this, you're coming in hot and heavy. You're coming in passionate. It doesn't matter. They see right through that. And I feel like it's it's not going to, or it didn't, this is week one, so in effect from February um, going into this week, it, it it's just, it's not cutting it. It's not cutting it with them. They know you. <laughs> they know you. Got to come correct, Gemini's. You got to come correct. And I think that's fearful for you. Week two. Let's just <laughs> spend too much time talking about this one. Week two. So rest, rejuvenate, taking a break. Four of swords came out first. Page of swords. King of swords. Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, Four of Cups, I'm sorry, Four of Cups, and the Moon. So let me break this down for you all. Coming from week one, where we had the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Here we have a lot of sword energy with the first three cards could be you you could be dealing with an air sign that you have the spiritual connection with i feel like you all had already taken a break again you're making the choice between i think two relationships two different connections and um or this could be you deciding you know that now that you know what you want to do you try to have communication and you're finally deciding that the communication is critical can't avoid it, has to happen, um, that you are going to have to take a break mentally either from, and I mean, for Geminis, for air signs in general, you all, it's all about up here, right? It's, it's mental energy. You have to be able to um, close the chapter mentally in order to close it heart-wise. And I think this other person has been on your mind like crazy. You can't let it go. You can't let it go. You can't let it go. But you are now at the point where you are able to detach from the other situation. So you're first going to do it gently. You know, you're just, you're, you're not at your peak of strength here. You're going to do it gently. You know, you're going to... You have the mental clarity, so now you're going to deliver that mental clarity to another person. May not be going the way that it needs to be, so then you have to strengthen the message a little bit. Do you see the difference here between the page, a prince, to a king? Two different dynamics here. All right. And I mean, the king is ready for war, though. It's suited and booted. The prince, not so much. There's still vulnerability. I mean, legs are out. Hair does, or not hair, but the head does not have any type of protection. Just kind of casually moving. And it feels like even this individual, their eyes are closed while they're carrying their, the sword. But the king, uh uh, I'm ready. 
like this. I, I need you to hear me and I need you to hear me good. I may have cared for you. I do care for you. All of these things, whatever you have to say to get the message through to them. You're going to say. I don't think I need to clarify those three. The next set that we have here, you have this, you do this, you take these actions because ultimately you want this and you realize that the person or the situation, the life that you were living before is not cutting it anymore. Ten of Cups, that's what you want. So now we're on the other side of that, right? We're on the other side of not only making that choice, coming to that realization, but your intuition is primed right now. You realize that you missed out on an opportunity or um, what I'm also getting is you realized or you're realizing that even if this person that you were trying to let go of is not giving up on offering you this cup of love, it's just, it's just, scratch that, <clears throat> scratch that. Spirit is telling me something else here. The high priestess can always be another woman, another person, another party to the situation. Who knows, you know, who knows what's really going on, but one, chooses to ignore it, or two, feels like they can change the outcome. So what I'm seeing is you're sitting up here, you're making the choice to be like, I have to let go of what I know I don't want. I'm giving you the message. Oh, you're still not hearing me. I need to give it to you a little bit more bluntly so that I can go for my 10 of cups. This person, this is a person. I don't think this has to do with intuition. Like I was saying before, this is a person is still trying to do this. It's still trying to give you this cup of love, but you're bored you're over it. It's not the same. None of that. You, it, you're just, you're not paying attention to it. And I feel like this has to do with the new moon in Pisces that will be coming up around the 18th. All right. So if they didn't get the message beforehand, if they're not getting it during this week, by next week, they will. By next week, they will. <laughs> So I didn't want to clarify any of the first few cards, but I do want to clarify the High Priestess and the Four of Cups. High Priestess, week two, Gemini. High Priestess, okay. And a two turn. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Nine of Wands. Spiritual Strength. This isn't even just being on guard with this person as, you know, the nine of wands typically stands for or, um, you know, being on guard, being cautious, having fought the good fight for so long that you are you're you're so close to being able to say that it's finally the end. That's what I'm getting. Um, again, we have a, we had. Where was that? the third eye chakra in the first week? And then we also had. um sacrifice and i feel like that is this is you this is you and then we have two cards in reverse we have trapped in fear you're no longer that especially not with this person you you know what you want so there won't be any new beginning with this person and i think that they may be finally realizing that as well all right they may be finally realizing that as well four of cups why is the four of cups here Okay, so we, two of swords, four of cups, they may be having the mental complex, or if this is you, by chance, okay, so yeah, before I had that sacral chakra, it has come out, we also have six of pentacles, 
Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. So somebody in this situation is trying to control the bejesus out of this. Someone is trying to manipulate the situation. Somebody is trying to maybe shower you with gifts. Try and again, just change the flow of how things are going. Um, <clears throat> may, <clears throat> excuse me, five of pentacles, left out in the cold, all that. I'm not feeling that with this. I'm feeling like they may try to manipulate it over money. Money, gifts controlling behaviors or this is or this is their stance anyway you know and they're doing it because maybe they don't understand maybe things were you know all good just a week ago kind of kind of was <laughs> you know or <clears throat> y'all were kicking it and shaking it with valentine's day and now oh cautious pearls you're trying to sit up here and tell me that you're about to walk right up out of my life for what Ooh. Solitude, the hermit at the bottom. You ain't hearing them. You're not hearing them. You're in a whole different place. So week three, we have the page of cups. Seven of wands again. Five of cups. Is that five of cups again? No. No. No, we had three of cups before and five of pentacles. So yeah, um, this is this is you. I think this is um, you innocently again trying to present your your message to Yeah, I think this is you trying to innocently present your message again to the person that you actually love. Defending yourself, your stance. And turning around from being in this place. Where is the page of cups? Here again. I'm sorry, not here again, but why are you? Yeah. This time you'll be victorious. Six of Wands. I think your message is finally going to get through, which is maybe why you're trying it again, because maybe for the next week you had to fall off a little bit because you had to deal with finally getting rid of. What has to go? Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Stable new beginning. This guy is beautiful. And at the bottom, Seven of Cups. Choosing wisely. You've already made the choice though. But I feel like this, I feel like with how the other person that doesn't want this to end is coming, coming for you. Um, yeah, how this other person is coming for you it's making you wonder how to move to really end the situation with them. I hope that makes sense. Um, week four, please. Gemini week four, March, 2018. Week four, please. There we go. Oh, Gemini, this is beautiful for y'all. I think for some of you, it's like, finally, long time coming, right? And I'll, um, I'll show you why. I've only gotten one card that's fallen out thus far. 
I want at least another. Another message is week four. All right. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Which I feel is the other person. I feel like they're going to... All right, let me summarize first and then we'll get into these cards. So week one, Gemini's. It's hard for you, I think, to truly emotionally invest, all right? But you you are choosing someone, and I mean tenfold, you're choosing this individual where you know, you know that you want to present them with your love and you know who you're approaching. They are a queen in your eyes. They are passionate. They are popular, they are appreciated, respected. They're all of those things, but you know that you have to come correct to them. So you've gone through these different differing emotions, you know, people maybe that are trying to block you from doing so, all of that, but you know how you're coming in and you're happy about it. You're strengthening yourself going through these decisions Finally, yay. So we move into um, the middle of March where now you have to deal with letting go of certain things. So this could be a person. This could just be certain behaviors that you've had where it's just like, okay, I know I need to do this, Four of Swords. I'm going to present it like this because I don't want to hurt this person. So the Page of Swords, but then it's still not getting through. So you got to elevate it a little bit because again, you have to keep reminding yourself, you know what you want. You want the Ten of Cups. You want it all. You want it all. And so then this other person, no matter if they're intuitive or if this is your intuition, they keep coming for you. They keep coming for you, but you're just not having it. And I really feel like this is all about the Pisces new moon being the, being the bridge, the change point, the, the critical date time frame that is going to make all of this pretty relevant for you, where you're going to have the spiritual strength, where you're going to release being in that mental conflict, um, where you're understanding that there's just, there's the love that you are seeking is not with this individual and you need to prepare. You need to prepare yourself for what they're going to shoot at you, how they're going to try and keep you stuck in that situation. So then you move on and you actually do produce the message to the person that you want. It finally gets through. You still have to have, you know, the standing your ground mentality. One, you're going to have to have that for the person you're delivering the message to because it's been a while. Again, I think this is someone that you've dealt with beforehand um, and maybe that you made a choice to let go of thinking that the grass was going to be greener. So you're standing your ground with them, but I also still feel like this is still standing your ground energy from the from the person that you're having to let go of. And then you're going to have this prosperous new beginning and letting go of this remorseful mindset. So now we're here in week four and we have the king of wands. How beautiful is that? You know who you're stepping to. So now you're here all right then we have the page of pentacles where again i gemini's you're starting off with you know these i don't want to say lower level and have it have a negative connotation but you're starting off with like these small gestures because it's still like you're trying to feel the waters of coming to this person so you're starting off at a page energy. There is this element still of how can you control the outcome, which is, again, why I think you're starting off with these smaller messages. But then you're elevating a little bit more and you're coming with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Slowly, you're coming in slow. I think you're trying to avoid being hurt, rejected, anything like that. Even if the message did get through to this person, ooh, 
because again, you you uh, you realize who you're coming to. They don't take no jack. They don't. They don't. They don't. So I mean, I think that the Knight of Pentacles is nice. It's not the king. Is not the king, but you're the king of wands here. You're matching their energy. They're the queen of wands. Couple here. So you're on the same frequency, which is why I think that Knight of Pentacles is wonderful to have at the bottom of the deck. Why is this four of coins here? Root chakra. And I mean, you're coming to some real alignment here. We have the root chakra, the sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart, and third. Well, we don't have throat here, but we have third eye and we don't have crown. But that's five out of seven. You're definitely coming into um, some grounding energy. Some grounding energy. Another card, please, for this four of pentacles. Why is it here? Why are you trying to control the outcome? Can I get some clarity as why is Gemini trying to control the outcome here? When you're matching their frequency, uh, nine of swords. I think that there is still some energy coming from the other person. You know, whatever tie you had with them that is still playing a role here. Oh, is it at the bottom? Spiritual union. Mm, that's awesome. Reuniting with your twin flame, Gemini? With the soulmates? Let's get your message. Let's get your message. Let us get your message from Spirit for March. I'm feeling this sense of wholeness, but I mean, Gemini's. Message, Gemini's March. I got one, I want another one. You don't need to control what's for you is what I'm hearing. You don't need to control what's for you. There's a clock in the middle. It's divine timing. Seven. Seven. And then we have the sun, which illuminates everything. It brings warmth. It grows. Uh, and I feel that. I feel joy for you. I feel joy. And here we go with the six. Uh, Sakura right again. A true awakening moment is here in this. And I moved um, two other cards here. Sorry, I was 11-11. Uh, where we have the world, ending of one thing, beginning of another, and then we have women holding a heart. <laughs> After that, door to romance. So March is going to be um, the beginning of a true connection that you will have with this person that maybe you really hurt in the past, Gemini. And you're trying to make it right. And I'm all for it, honey. I am all for that. Start the month recognizing the spiritual connection and you end the month with it too. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, um, 
Again, all the ways to get in contact with me down below. And I will see you all in April. Love and light. Mwah. Be blessed. Bye.